Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to be doing a new tutorial series on Flask using Python 3.5 and we're going to be using the latest version of Flask which uh, supposedly supports Python 3.5 at the time of this video which is good. So that's a relatively new development. Flask has been in production for a couple of years. It's a really highly touted framework, probably second to Django for the Python community. Uh, it's very minimalistic, so it's not opinionated at all and as far as how you handle your business. You're kind of left to your own devices on what you want to do. It would be similar to something like Node and Express, I would say, um, where there's just not a whole lot given to you out of the box, and a lot of people like that because then they can you know, build their project to uh, suit their specific needs. In the past, I used to tout that um, like, uh, like Pinterest was built on top of Django, but then eventually they kind of outgrew Django, which is to be expected for a site of that, that size, and then they went over to uh, Flask, and they, they kind of used Flask as a starting point, and then they created their own custom API built on top of Flask. So um, you can actually you know mold it to really suit whatever sort of need you have. So a lot of people uh, like that about Flask, and um, you're going to end up writing more code initially than something like Django, but um, you'll also... You know, be very uh, intimate with how that code works and everything. So uh, the, the experience there is priceless. Now what you're going to need in order to be able to get this tutorial going, um, you need to have Python installed. I'm using Python 3.5. I'm using a Windows environment, but you can be on Linux or Mac. It, Mac, it doesn't matter. Um, and as far as my Windows environment, a lot of people are like, why aren't, why aren't you on Linux if you're using Python? Well, I do a lot of C-sharp development, and I'm stuck with Windows, and, you know, I, honestly, all my games and apps run on Windows, so I'm not, you know, I can't not use Windows. Uh, I typically host my applications on a Linux environment, and that's probably what I'll look to do with the Flask uh, project. Also, I want to be able to post this code on GitHub, so that way you guys can just download this, especially once it's a finished project, and then if you have questions with, you know, what this code is doing, you should be able to go back through the tutorial videos and, um, get up to speed on how you know we got to that endpoint. So um, now, once you have Python 3.5 installed, you're probably going to need some sort of editor to write your code in. I use Visual Studio. That's not mandatory, but Visual Studio has a free community edition, um, and then you can also download like Python tools for Visual Studio. Uh, a lot of people use PyCharm, or you can use whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be using Visual Studio. And another another thing too is um, we're going to put the project in our um, I'm going to put it in the projects folder of my computer. So let me go ahead and um, well we'll go ahead and get started in the next video as far as how to create our directory structure. But uh, that's really all that that needs to be said at this point. I'm going to try to po post post this on uh, GitHub. We're going to be using Python 3.5. We're going to be using the latest version of Flask and you need to use an editor one way or another. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.